After having an opportunity to work with a life coach for two months, I want to make this video to share my experience of what I like and what I didn't like. And if you're on a fence to try life coaching, whether it is to improve the relationship with money, relationship with your partners, or even relationship with yourself. And I hope this video will help you decide if working with a life coach is the right decision for you. So let's start with the pros. Having a life coach is another level of personal development. I do read personal development book and listen to podcasts, but all of those can only take you this far. But when I had my life coach, it really helped me to understand myself on another level. When I had my first coach in the first few sessions, she asked me some question that I never thought before. And it wasn't something big. It was just like a small question like, what do you think or what do you like to do for fun? Like those very, very small questions. And sometimes I will have a hard time to really provide an answer. It kind of shocked me of how I cannot provide those answers because like as a person who reads personal development book, like I should know this answer from the bottom of my heart, but I couldn't. So it kind of made me thinking that it doesn't really matter if I read those books, but I don't reflect words to myself. So what matter is I read those personal development books, but at the same time, reflecting back to on our own. So in short, having a life coach really helped me to get a better understanding of myself by them asking me question that I never thought before. The second thing is achieving goals. In the first session, my coach and I, we were working toward to what is the big goal that I will work with throughout our coaching relationship. And then even though I didn't achieve that big goal by the end of our coaching relationship, but it really helped me to set up the foundation and keep me on the right track to achieve it. Like I was making some small progress every week because I knew during our coaching session, like my coach would ask me like, how did you work towards the goal this week? So in order to provide an update, I will actually need to put in the work and work to it to it. You might seem that, oh, like your coach is just like forcing you to work toward to it. But from my perspective, it really keep me motivated and keep me on track of working towards to my goal. So it just differs of like what perspective do you see from it? The third thing is having someone to talk to. Even though I am very close with my family, but there are things that you just feel more comfortable talking to a professionals because you are seeking for their um, unbiased feedback and coaches do not tell you what to do. They observe of what you are saying and then they provide the question. Because like we are living in the world that everyone's just trying to give you advice and suggestion, but sometimes we really need to have the answer from our own and then that's what a life coach can provide. They ask you a question and if you can't answer it right on the spot, it is fine. Like my coach really gives me the space and then the time to just let me think and then come up with the answer on my own. And that's what I actually needed, like to have the answer within myself rather than others tell me what to do and or other suggestion. So those are some things that I like about having a life coach and here is something that I didn't like of having a life coach. The first thing is the cost. All of those professions are not cheap. A coaching session can cost from 50 to 100 or if you're hiring those really really famous coach they could cost up to thousands of dollars. But it depends on what perspective you are seeing it from. If you're seeing it from the perspective of like, yes, I am spending this amount of dollars, but it is an investment toward to yourself, toward to your personal goals, then it is totally worth it. But if you're on the other perspective of like, it is such a waste of money, then you are not receiving it well. Or if you're seeing it from a different perspective, like how, why am I spending thousands of dollars of someone telling me what to do rather than I can work on it toward to yourself, then it might be not the right decision for you to having a life coach. The second thing is time and commitment. Yes, you can hire a coach for one session, but there might not be a lot of transformation or result seeing it within one session. Usually working with a life coach, we will set up like a plan or like how many sessions you want to do like from two months or like up to six months or even sometimes there is a one year plan and you will really need to put in the time and effort to work with the life coach in order to see the result and the third thing is coaching is 
personal. I had two coaches, not at the same time, but one after one. And in the very first session, what we call it as a discovery call, just to see if we like the coaching style and if their energy is a good match. And since coaching is very personal, you want to make sure that you pick the right coach. Like their coaching style is what you like, and then their energy, how they talk, like it's something that match with what you are looking for. And from my experience, like if you found, like if you find a coach that works very well with you, you will see progress in no time. Like you will work very well with a coach, and then they will help you with all of their effort that they can. But if you find a coach that their energy or their style doesn't really match with yours, like you won't see that much of a progress. So it is very important to find a coach that match with your style. Some coach provide tough love, and if you're a person that receive very well of tough love, you're gonna work very well with a coach. But on the other hand, if you're someone that that doesn't receive tough love very well, it, it won't be the right match for you. So in summary, if you're someone who is working on yourself and want to take your personal development into the next level and become more self-aware, and the cost of hiring a life coach is not an issue, and if you're on the edge of trying a life coach, take this as a sign and go for it, because we all want to become a better version of ourselves. I hope this video gave you some clarity if having a life coach is the right decision for you. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!